Rules Committee. I respect the chairman of the Rules Committee, but I respectfully disagree. He's presided over a Rules Committee that has the most closed rules in the history of the Congress of the United States. Competing ideas, opposing views were not allowed to be considered in either of the two bills the Republicans are going to put before the Congress, one we've dispensed with already. I oppose the rule and I oppose the underlying legislation. We're facing multiple immigration crises of the president's own making, and we must not be fooled by plans designed to cover that up. This is not the fix we need for migrant families separated at the border. President Trump's inhumane and morally repugnant policy to forcibly separate children from their parents as they seek refuge in America is beyond the pale. We cannot rely on the president's sudden change of heart. We must forbid this barbaric policy by passing the Keep Families Together Act, not this bill. And this is not the fix we need for DREAMers, despite what Mr. Sessions, my good friend from Texas, just said. There are nearly 800,000 DREAMers, including 2,400 in my district. They need an opportunity to work, to attend school, to contribute to our communities, and to become the Americans they, in fact, are. Uh, I had a dreamer as my guest at the State of the Union address. She came to this country at the age of one. She's never been back to her country at birth. She thought she was an American until she applied for a driver's permit at the age of 16. She's a proud American, and we would be proud to have her. I urge Gentlemen, my colleagues inspired. to oppose the rule and to oppose the underlying bill.